right, people, this is Sandra Source News at the Bible Talk Show. I have another uh, breaking information for you uh, today. Um, unnerving footage from the El Paso border crisis. Why is this happening? And we have Professor Nez telling us um, what he's seeing and what he knows. This is really interesting. If you're not following this, we are being invaded by people coming to our country thinking that it's going to be better for them and everything. And they're um, pushing through the borders in New Mexico, trying to um, to get in here. But the thing is, our, our government is allowing it. And it's pretty sad because our country is full of um, people that have come here, millions of people that have come here from all over the world, uh, drug lord people, um, other countries, people that hate us. Uh, this is a really scary times. And our government, um, President Biden has not stepped up to protect our borders and close our borders off to get things under control so that we can take a look and see what's going on here. He doesn't care, it appears that he doesn't care. So take a look. This is really interesting stuff. What you just saw right there is the disaster that's happening right now at the El Paso border in New Mexico. So the Supreme Court, if you don't remember, the Supreme Court uh, allowed for Texas to actually protect its border from a full-on invasion. And Lester Holt and John Muir and Scott Pelley and all these uh, network broadcasters say, oh, it's a huge, huge disappointment for Biden. It's a huge win for Trump. It's a huge loss for the Democrat. What? What do you mean loss? This isn't a zero-sum win-loss. This has nothing to do with the campaign. This has to do with our country. Our country is literally being invaded. And they're using this as a political weaponization, as some sort of political points that are being culled by each candidate. Like Trump is benefiting from the fact that the Supreme Court says, you know what? We've had millions and millions of illegals. They brought in crime. They brought in everything he said in 2016 has come true. They beat up uh, uh, officers. They rape and kill innocent uh, American citizens. They don't have any, there's no prosecution. You've got, I showed you that video yesterday. You've got migrants who have a TikTok following of hundreds of thousands of followers showing and telling his brethren how to get into the border, how to use uh, abandoned homes and squat and basically take over American homes. This is not a win for anybody. This is an absolute disgrace is what this is what's happening. It's happening right now. El Paso, New Mexico. New Mexico's border remains wide open. And poor memory. This new Harvard memory hack is turning thousands of people into super agers with super brains. Picture yourself waking up tomorrow. Not and the governor has chosen to do nothing to protect New Mexico from this. Literally, I don't see how else you could categorize this other than a full-blown invasion. I'm going to show you a clip again. Uh, in greater detail of what's happening here. And Tombstone, one foot in the grave, Biden, what does he do? He initiated this crisis on day one when he retracted and deactivated all of Trump's immigration policies. Literally the day he was sworn in office. His very first day in office as president back in 2020, he deactivated and omitted all of Trump's immigration policies, border policies, security policies on day one. This is all his fault. He also has the power. He doesn't need Congress. He doesn't need a bill. He doesn't even need the governor. He has the authority to allow Border Patrol to enforce the law. The governor has the authority to send reinforcements to the border. You have Democratic leadership in New Mexico 
But I, I mean, I, I don't blame these migrants. I mean, look, you know, Texas, Governor mm -hmm. Abbott, the Supreme Court, they said enough is enough. We're done. You guys are gone. Mexico says, no, you can't. We're, we're going to deport all of the people that you bring back to us, which is just absolutely insane. So what do they do? They go, oh, well, here's some, here's an opening. Here's an opportunity. Here's a place where Democrats run the state they run the policy oh perfect wide open come on in there's not real americans trying to protect the border of course not let them come on in the democratic leadership in new mexico president biden have abandoned citizens safety that's what they've done i mean there's no other way of looking at it in favor of this invasion in favor of people who are willing to break our laws. Check this out. I want you to watch this again. you see this people our government doesn't even care about us anymore and these people that are coming from other countries demanding to come in here they're not the best people you could tell that because they're they're violating everything the, the fences the gates they're violating everything wanting to come here so we are in desperate problems Desperate problems, people. This country has fallen as low, low, low down, and our government is not protecting us anymore. And whatever's going to come out of this is going to be evil and nothing good. So I just wanted to bring this to your attention. And I'll be back again with some other things that I find on the YouTube channel because you can't find the truth in the new regular news system. God bless you. We'll be back soon.